And welcome back, you fabulous fourth graders, you math masters. What's our next assignment of the concept development? Well, it is estimating with addition and subtraction. Well, we all know how to add and we all know how to subtract, but now we're going to be doing some estimating, kind of like our application problem. So let's do um, a math sentence and write this down. 505,341 plus 193,841. And let's say this is a population of Duluth, Minnesota, uh, or Fresno, California. I'm more familiar with Fresno. And this is the population of Bakersfield, California. Pretty close, actually. Maybe a little more. In any event, someone says, about how many people live in Fresno and Bakersfield combined? And you would say, well, I can round that and let you know. And what we're going to do is we're going to round to the nearest 500,000, okay? Nearest 500,000. And where's the 500,000? I mean, where's the 100,000 place value? I'm sorry. Nearest 100,000. Boy. So we're rounding to the nearest 100,000. So this is either going to stay a 1 or become a 2. This will either stay a 5 or become a 6. So let's just look at this. Let's, you know, not deal with the vertical number line anymore and, and, and just get rolling right on it in our heads. You know, that, that way we don't have to, but Mr. Leggett, I really like those vertical number lines. Well, Math Mutt, we'll get around to doing some more vertical number lines on, during the problem set. Do you promise? Yes, I promise. Thank you. He loves those vertical number lines. So is this closer to 500,000 or 600,000? Well, think about it as this. Is this closer to 500 or 600? If you said, excuse me, i got to start my timer again. Think about it. Is this closer to 500 or 600? Well, 505 is a lot closer to 500 than it is to 600. Would you not agree? So we are going to round this number to 500,000. How about over here? Think about this. Just pretend that uh, we're going to take a look at 100 and 200. Is this closer to 100 or 200? Well, 193 is only 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199. 200 is only 7 away from 200. So it's 93 away from 100. So in this instance, we would be rounding up. So what would this equal? Well, we could just look at this, probably do it in our heads. 5 plus 2 is 7, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. So about 700,000 people live in Fresno and Bakersfield combined. Now, let's take a look at some subtraction, okay? We're going to do a little subtraction because we talk about estimating with addition and subtraction. So here we go. Our uh, subtraction problem is 35,555. We're going to subtract 26,000. Oh, they're being so crafty. 555. Well, they think they're being crafty, those folks at Eureka, but we can outcraft them, I believe. I want you to pause this tape in just a moment and try to think about where you're going to round this because what we're doing is we're rounding um, to the nearest um, 10,000. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So either this is going to remain a three or become a four, this will remain a two or become a three. Think about the midpoint and where you, would you round those two? Maybe you could figure this out without any further assistance. So go ahead and pause this uh, recording and give it your best shot. And welcome back. I hope you gave it your best shot and not just a second best shot. So this time around, I think I'm going to bring in, and MathMut will be so happy, the vertical number line because they're really trying to be tricky here. Okay, so we're going to round in there is 10,000, so this would be 30,000. And this endpoint would be 40,000. What's the midway between 30 and 40? 35,000. So you'll see we have the same three here. 
the same five there, but now we have a zero instead of a five in the hundreds place. So 35,555 is greater than just 35,000. Not by much, only by 555. All right? So we're going to round up, right? We round up because we're closer to 40,000 than we are to 30,000. All right, so remember round up. Let's go over here. This is going to be a 2. The 10,000th place ought to be rounded up to a 3, one or the other. So we're going to start at 20,000 is one endpoint, and our other endpoint is going to be 30,000. So our midpoint, what's between 20 and 30? 25 is the midway point. So look here, look at here, looky here. We have two ten thousands, two ten thousands, six thousands, and only five thousands. So 26,555. So in this instance, we're also going to round up to 30,000, right? Because we're closer to 30,000 than we are to 20,000. So now we can do this most difficult math problem, right? Hold on. So now we can say 40,000, because we're rounding up, minus 30,000 equals 0, 0, 0, 0 for my, equals 10,000. But let's say if we were going to say, you know what, I want a closer estimate of that. Let's say someone bought a car at a dealership for that, same car, and someone bought it for that. And I, this guy could say, you spent about $10,000 more than I did. But let's see, can we get it more exact if we round to the nearest thousand? Let's find out, shall we? So, 35,555 minus 26,555. Okay, what will that equal? This time around, we're rounding to the nearest thousand. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, okay? Think about this. Nearest thousands. Are we closer to 36,000 or 35,000? Same concept that we did before. In points, 35,000, 36,000. What's the midway point? 35,500, right? Is this greater? We have 35, 35, 5, 500, but then we have the 55. So 35,555 is just a little bit greater. Excuse me. See, it's a little bit greater. So it's going to round up to 36,000. Now you're probably saying, oh, same thing here. We have 26,000 and 27,000. What's the midway point? 26,500. And we take a look at this number, 2, 2 in the 10,000th place, 6, 6 in the thousands, 5, 5 in the hundreds, but 5 in the tens and 0 in the tens there. So 26,555 is closer to 27,000, so we'd round up. Now we might get a little closer uh, estimate of the actual difference. I'm going to take 36,000, what we round it up to, and minus 27,000, 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0. Oh, what do we do here? We don't go 7 minus 6. I know even though we're in fourth grade, some of us will still make that mistake. This is going to become 16. 16 minus 7 is 9, and it's 9,000 is the difference. So that's a little more accurate. This guy can say, well, you spent about 9,000 more dollars than I did. All right, go get your problem set. That is up next.